What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I bring you the trading screen setup, right? You guys saw the Maroom setup, I asked you guys to get 500 likes, you guys hit that. Um, so today I bring you the trading screen setup where I'm going to explain what I'm running on these screens, what I'm looking at while trading, and basically what's going on. You guys always ask, you know, what do you have on each screen, how are you executing, and today you're about to find out how I run Thinkorswim and Interactive Broker at the same time, and what do I have on my Mac over here, alright? So let's go ahead and talk about it. It might be a little blurry, but that's also because I'm using the 49 inch, right? So we have the 49 inch here. I'm running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different charts here. Some of them have level two, some of them have news, and some don't, right? So, you know, I have VIX over here. It depends on the day on, you know, what stocks are here. Whatever I have on my watch list, I'll add here. And then I'll have the normal ES and MQ futures, so I know what the overall market is doing. Okay, so this is a 49 inch so that when I'm executing, I see what other stocks are doing. Is my stock the only stock selling off or is all the stocks here selling off? Okay, so this is the uh, 49 inch Samsung running, uh, you know, eight different charts. I got level two under all of these. You guys can see level two, level two, level two. Some of them have some news uh, I leave open. So if something happens on the market, I'll see what's going on. But I have something else for that as well. So. This is the 49 inch, uh, nothing much going on here. I'm gonna also talk about the other screens. Now what's going on here? On the left side, by the way, so that you can explain, so I can explain this correctly, this screen right here is a 32 inch vertical monitor and this screen right here is a 32 inch monitor, right? So two different screens going on here, uh, so that even though it's connected. But let's talk about this screen right here. So this screen, I have my main chart. If I'm trading a stock, if I'm about to trade a stock, the stock goes right here. So for example, if I have Tesla, you'll see me pull this up right here, right? My main stock is right here. Tesla, I'm looking at it. I also have times and sales running on the right side here, okay? If you're asking me what do I have on my screen, this is my algo uh, with the support and resistance line as well as these patterns and these arrows, this is my own algo. So if you need that, you can DM me on Instagram at Nor Trades or Trade Like Nor or Stock Arrows, my only three accounts, okay? I have TTM Squeeze, I have RSI. I don't really use any of those, but I keep them on the screen, I've had them for so long, right? So this is the TOS, I have time to sales on the right, I have the chart on the left. Now let's head over down here. Since I'm on Interactive Broker and I'm ex ex executing on Interactive Broker, uh, this is the bottom screen where this is ma this matters, right? So basically, okay, this is my Book Trader, which is the same as Active Trader on TOS, right? So I get my contracts. As you guys can see on this specific contract today, I'm up eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty-seven dollars today. For the day, I'm up 11,712. You guys can see the monitor screen. And then this is my activity screen uh, as for my trades, right? So this was my execution trades, uh, execution screen right here where I can see how many uh, contracts I bought, what I bought and sold them at. On, inter on Interactive Broker, on my book trader, I have the amount of contracts I want to buy up here, the specific contracts I want here. This is my setup. And then I have the mark. I have position size, I have average price, unrealized PL, and then I have realized PL. Right? This is you can edit this and play with it over here on the configure. Uh, and it's very simple, right? The right side here is times uh, is level two, excuse me. I have times and sales up here. This is level two for the stock, right? The bottom here, it looks like I'm running another level two, but this is level two for the actual contract. So for these specific contracts. This is level two, which is the bid and the ask. Okay, so I like to see where the level of where the bid is, where the ask is, how far the spread is. You guys know I talk about spread, how wide the spread is. I don't like widespread, so I usually don't trade contracts like that. For example, I don't trade uh, shop contracts because the spread sucks. Some days it has its days where the spreads are tight because there's a lot of volume. Most of the days it's it's terrible. So I keep this on. I like what's going on. Then I have the bid, this is the book trader. You guys know that. The same thing as active trader. Now on this screen, I'm usually watching futures on this screen. But if I'm looking to trade two different stocks, I'll have them. So for example, on this screen, I have ES, right? I'll run futures or I'll run SPY, right? So I know what the market. So if I'm in a Tesla trade and the market starts selling off, I can see what's going on over here so that I can get the hell out this trade, okay? 
Same setup here, I have uh, times and sales on the right side, but I'm running level two uh, on TOS. I wasn't running level two here because I have level two over here, okay, on Interactive Broker. On this one, since I don't wanna uh, detach and put another level two from Interactive Broker, I just keep TOS, so I have times and sales, level two for the actual stock, not contracts, and then I have the news here, okay? Very simple. Uh, and I keep the volume, I keep RSI here. Uh, we have the volume indicator. And then down here, I have Discord, okay? So Discord, uh, this is where I notify my chat uh, what I'm buying, what I'm selling. I'm usually in voice channel. Oh, I'm actually always in voice channel, uh, to be exact. And the stock chat is where my, you know, my chat's talking and all that good stuff. Uh, we're all done for the day, so most people are offline. We still have 187 people online. It was a dead day. Uh, we got what we needed to do in the morning, and then we had the profit chat, random chat, uh, intern chat, and all that good stuff. So this is Discord. This is how I communicate with my members. I have over 1,000 members, so easiest way to uh, communicate with them is Discord. Now, let's switch over to... Uh, my Mac. So I also have a Mac on the right side here. Uh, you'll see it in a second. So here we go. Uh, we have the right side here. I have. I usually run uh, Pro Benzinga. What is Pro Benzinga, right? Pro Benzinga is just another uh, you know news platform. I like to see it for analyst ratings. You know, I wake up in the morning. What what got upgraded? What got downgraded today? Uh, I just go here, change it to today. And now I know what got upgraded. Roku got upgraded, you know, Apple got upgraded, Amazon got upgraded, and it comes in clutch because you wake up in the morning, you'll see some stocks uh, maybe not move or catch a lot of momentum. You're like, yo, what's going on? I have my watch list. It'll narrow it down to see which one actually caught some news. Roku, for example, is up $30 today. They got an upgrade this morning. And then on the news in the morning when I wake up, I can see what exactly is going on. So I can scroll all the way to the bottom here. Uh, and it just keeps going. In the morning, I wake up, see what's going on. Uh, any big announcements this morning? Anybody talking like Jerome Powell, the Fed, and all that good stuff. So I also also run Discord on here, so I can read things while I'm typing uh, in the channels that I can only type at on the PC. So Mac is used for Probenzinga and Discord. You guys know what I'm using on the PC. This is my setup. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe. If we hit 500 likes on this again, I'll do a watch and shoe collection. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.